All right, David here from Machinery Partner. We're gonna take you through the Maris WX5 air curtain burner. This is a beautiful machine for getting rid of wood waste. So basically this customer has a problem dealing with stumps and wood waste, and he wants to do it in an environmentally friendly way. This machine burns with no smoke. It's Title V approved, and it's a great machine for disposing of waste of this nature. And look, very little maintenance. Small engine, super efficient. You don't have wear parts that you have to manage. Uh, and it's a very economical, smart way to get, get rid of uh, this type of material. And it's innovation that hasn't really come to the US yet. I'm sure your partner's helping to do that. So let's take you through the machine. All right, what you have here is a Maris burner. You can see it here. We're gonna start with how it works, right? So the way this machine works is this fan right here creates high velocity air and it comes through this diffuser and it gets blown across the top of this chamber. Let's go in front of the chamber here. So this diffuser is creating a curtain of air and the burn happens in the burn chamber. The burn chamber has all of the material that you're putting in here. You can see we did a burn last night and we have uh, the leftovers of that. But the air comes off of this diffuser, hits the wall, and it creates this curtain above that captures all the soot, all the smoke, all the particulate. And then it creates this vortex and it feeds the fire. And this thing gets really hot. You can see it's lined by these ceramic panels that keep the heat in. Uh, and this is where the burning happens. On this model, we have a hook lift system built into the machine so that it can be moved around easily on just a roll on roll off uh, truck. All right, so you can see the hook lift here. It's got rollers. There's plenty of D-rings for moving it. One of the things I forgot to mention is one way to extend the burn is to dig a trench underneath so that the burn pile can go lower and you're cleaning it out less. So that's just the best practice. That's a pro tip to just dig out uh, a trench so that you can put let your ash and all of your uh, carbon and, and leftover coals just stay there and you're do, spending less time pulling out the material. The other way you can do it is you can just drag the machine to, off to the side and you can get in there with your excavator as well. The way to load this, I should just say that, best practice for loading is using the thumb on an excavator so you can place the material in. Let's move down here and show you how, what powers this thing. It's a very simple machine and what we have here is a Yanmar 25 horsepower engine, very simple. You've got your throttle, your key start, and then your clutch to engage the fan. So this is a belt drive with a clutch that drives this fan here. You can see your diesel fuel. We ran this for 10 hours last night, and we only went through half a tank of fuel. Very efficient. Once that fan gets going, it's a very efficient machine, and it's very simple, right? So. High quality machine, you got Yanmar uh, engine for maintenance, you got your oil, you got your oil filters, you got some grease points on, on your clutch coupling, uh, you got a fuel filter here, very simple. That's the beauty of this. You're not running hundreds of gallons of diesel like a horizontal grinder or a tub grinder to get rid of this stuff and plus all the material is gone at the end of the day. When you're grinding, you still have to deal with all the wood chips. And sometimes that's sellable product, which is great, but oftentimes it just lives in a pile that starts to rot away. So uh, this is a way to completely get rid of 90, 95% of all the material in one easy way. All right, so this is basically the engine compartment, the fan assembly. Um, it's all encapsulated here. I wanna come around to this side here here, more D-rings for moving, whether you want to move with a crane or drag it around. You can also use the hook lift. These ceramic panels come in 800 uh, millimeter lengths, so about 20, uh, 26 inches wide, and you can replace them if they break, but you see that you just pick them up with this D-ring here, you unbolt it there, and you can replace them, and you get these come in different segments, right? This is a five because it's five panels. It's nice and beefy. There's plenty of support, so as you load it, these panels aren't moving around with the supports here. Uh, and that's basically it, right? It's a nice sturdy design, heavy duty machine back here in a, uh, a farm and uh, 
None of the neighbors see any of the smoke. It's a great innovation for, uh, for dealing with all this waste. You set it on your automatic grease gun? Yep. So you set two right there? Set it to two, pull the trigger, that's two pumps. And you're doing that every 20 hours? Every 20 hours. All right, how many grease fittings do we have on this There's machine? Five total. So you have three on the clutch mechanism here. You have one down here at your handle for your shaft, two up top for your bearing, and then you have one under each of these caps back here for your main bearings in your fan. Nice. Doing a little preventive maintenance before we start this burn. Five shots of grease, check the oil, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, we're gonna do the startup of the WX5 burner. We've got the fire going in the box. Now it's time to start the fan. So we're gonna turn it on with the key. Let it idle. Zach's got his hand on the throttle here. We're gonna let it get up a little bit. And then this is the clutch, this is to engage the fan. And there's a lot of pull on the engine to get the fan going, the inertia of it. And now we're getting the fan going. So we got the operator loading stumps. We're just getting it fired up. I'm going to climb up. We're going to look down. The fan's starting to go. We haven't. Got the burn fully going. So the way that this all starts is you get the fire going, let it start to burn, let it catch with some dry wood, fire up the engine, and then we're starting to get the curtain going. You gotta heat up once it gets nice and hot. We'll start to see the smoke go away. Here we are, loading up. Maris WX5.